Consult any study about poverty and you'll learn how very difficult it is for children born into poverty to make it out of poverty. But there are exceptions. Cave and Swan. Against the odds, he made it from a shotgun house in a very rough neighborhood in North St. Louis to Morehouse College in Atlanta, where he earned a bachelor's degree in management and organizational behavior and a master's degree in business administration from Atlanta University. So how does someone with a background in business become a senior principal at HOK, a global design, architecture, engineering, and planning firm? And how does he become a preeminent leader of diversity, equity, and inclusion in the design and construction industry? I kind of got voluntold into this space, um, you know, after I kind of transitioned from banking on loan to the city of East St. Louis, I teamed up with Charlie Fleming, and we were given the contract, joint venture contract with McCarthy Brothers for the St. Louis Public Schools, uh, first bond issue in a long time. Another milestone accomplishment was the development of the CEO to CEO program. And then BJC came, uh, which was another challenging opportunity. They had no real program. Uh, Sandra Marks and Cozy and uh, Marvin Johnson and Precious over there, we all worked together to develop a framework from BJC to, to begin real intentional inclusion. Uh, didn't get everything we wanted, but I think it changed the dynamics for procurement and contracting. Uh, we created a CEO to CEO roundtable, which sort of broke down the, the barrier between the CEOs, Alvarez, Clayco, Wilson. Get to know guys on a personal level. It's kind of hard to treat your friends or somebody you know personally uh, in, in, a, in, in a wrong way. Although Cave and Swan's many achievements exceed the scope of this short presentation, it's worth noting that he takes his inspiration from a quote from the late Colin Powell. If you're going to achieve big things, you develop the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception. It's a prevailing attitude. Exposure is knowledge, and knowledge is power. And you know, like I, I mentioned earlier to some of the young apprentice and journeymen, young architects and engineers, you know, when you achieve some success and you get that big win, hold on to that easy grin because you haven't done anything until you've reached back and tried to help somebody else. And, and look around you and try to get kids exposed to what it is that you're doing. Even though they might be on another track, they might look hopeless. But take that chance.